So, you are starting Pokerock for the first time and you want to know which starters are the best and I'm here to help you today. So, when I'm speaking about starters, I want to just say that I'm talking about the actual starters. So this is gonna be your main Pokémons for the first five runs if you don't get anything specific. So those are gonna be the first three Pokémons of each generation, not actual starters because obviously when it comes to choosing your Pokémons, you want to go with uh, teams, like you want to make a Pokémon, for example, around the Pokéros of the day. So it can be Dratini, it can be Gabon as well, which is this one as well. The uh, Bag, sorry, Bagon. So there you go. But for the starters, I'm gonna talk about each type. So we have Grass type, Fire type, and Water type. We are gonna start with Grass type, with my personal favorite, which is obviously gonna be Splegatito, and I'm talking about. Uh, Raw Pokémon with no nature, no ability, no egg moves, of course, because otherwise Bulbasaur is a pretty big unit. Uh, I have, not only do I have Chlorophyll, I have, uh, I don't have any nature though, but I have some pre pretty good egg moves as well. So Giga Ren and Sludge Bomb. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk about it. So my first favorite is gonna be Sprigatito. So let's actually switch to my three starters for grass types. So we have Muscarada. So why Muscarada? Always we have a pretty high speed and just a good kit overall. I would say in this game, when it comes to Pokerog, you want to either pivot to something, uh, to a defensive Pokemon or a resistant Pokemon, or you want to outspeed your opponent with your Pokemon. In this case, we are gonna go for outspeed and we have a pretty good kit. So, as I said, Muscarada is a attacker and not a special attacker. So if you check the kit, you can see that we have mainly physical attack moves and we have Flower Trick, very good move as well. It's always crit, always, and no, no miss as well. Very good grass type move. And then we have other moves like Bite or Night Slash. Bite is better because it can flinch, of course, but we are a grass dark. So Bite is 90 attack. Not too bad, of course. And then for coverage, we have a fairy attack, so play rough, and we can go for stomping like grassy terrain or own close, uh, which is a a buff move, right? It buffs the, the attack and the accuracy. So it's always nice to have it. So the moveset is just overall nice and it is a very solid Pokemon. So why do I choose either Venusaur or Rillaboom? Let me explain. When you go later into the, the game, you want to have something like Mega Evolution or G-Max, okay? Venusaur can not only have a Mega Evolution, but it can G-Max as well. So why is it not the best Pokémon? It is a good typing, so Grass Poison is not too bad. It is a special attacker, so if we check Mega Venusaur right now, we have 122 and 100 attack, so it is definitely a special attacker. But the big ick here is that Venusaur has no Grass move, right? So most of them are gonna be physical attacks. And as you can see, we have either Petal Dance or Solar Beam. Petal Dance is something that you cannot stop. So when you go into it, you have to stop non-stop. And the big issue with this is that the AI likes to switch a lot. So Petal Dance is pretty bad. And same, Solar Beam is a two move uh, attack. Just overall pretty bad, except if you have the Sun, of course. But in this case, we do not have it. So the moveset is not the best, but this is the big butt as well. If you have egg moves, of course, you do not have them. But if you could have egg moves on your Bulbasaur, like I have here, I have Giga Drain and Sludge Bomb, this is definitely the best grass starter, okay? But again, since we have no nature, no egg moves for you, I would say the your best choice is potentially a Sprigatito or the last one, which is Rillaboom. So Rillaboom is a grass type. It is a physical attacker. And we have a pretty okay moveset. We have drum beating, of course, and we have stuff like knock off, wood hammer. Now uh, we have taunt as well. Just overall good moves. And of course, we have the potential G Max. So I'm gonna choose most of the time something that's uh, very solid without G Maxing or Mega Evolution, like Muscarada, for example. Even though you cannot Mega Evolve or G Max, it is a very solid Pokemon overall. But if you want to go for more RNG things, you can definitely go into Rillaboom because a G-Max Rillaboom 
is insane. Let's game. All right. So those are going to be for the grass types. You want to go either Venus or if you want to go for something uh, that you can mega evolve and G max, and, but you have to find the TM yourself, uh, which is very RNG based. You want to go for Rillaboom, which is less RNG than Venus or, but it is still a pretty solid Pokemon. And then you have just Muse Karada if you want to outspeed and just have a pretty solid kit overall. Next up, we have the fire type. For the fire type, we have three choices as well. I'm gonna go for myself for Fuikoko because when it comes to choosing a, a team for me, I want to not rely on either finding TMs or Mega Evolution or G Max. I want to go for something that's solid, right? Like Fuikoko is a very, very solid Pokemon. And let me explain why. So Fuikoko or this guy, Skullidurge, has probably one of the best fire attack moves. It has Torch Song. So Torch Song is a fire special attack move. So if you notice here, Skullidurge is actually a special attacker. So 110. Not a good speed, but it's a very good Pokemon overall. It is a fire ghost type as well. So if you check the moveset here, we have Torch Song, very good ability. We have Will-O-Wisp and we have X as well. Two pretty good attacks as well for the last floor, just good overall. And we have Shadow Ball. So for the moveset, we would have something like Torch Song to get some buff on the special attack every time we use it. So just overall good to get to the floors. We have Will-O-Wisp and X just for the last boss and for those pretty nasty boss like Rayquaza, for example. Uh, if you want to go this way, we can paralyze Rayquaza and then spam X. It is very, very, very powerful. Then we have Shadow Ball, of course, as well for the go. So just a good coverage and good attacks uh, with a very solid Pokemon. Then we have Cinderace. Okay, so what's the good thing with Cinderace? Again, it is speed. Solid attacker, solid speed, just solid Pokemon overall. We have an okay move set. We do have some physical moves. We have uh, stuff like Bounce, just pretty good uh, uh, flying move. Can paralyze as well, so just overall nice. We have the signature move, which is Pyro Ball. Um, just good moveset overall. Um, not the best, of course. Not like Sp Sprigati 2, of course, but still good. And do not forget, he can G-Max 2. And G-Maxing a Cinderace is just very nice for the game as well. And lastly, we have Charizard. So this one is going to be here because the moveset is not too bad. Not the best stats, of course, but we, we have Mega Charizard X or Y, which is pretty nice, to be honest. Um, we have a good moveset that comes with it. We have some special moves. We have Flamethrower. We have Dragon Breath. We have Air Slash that we learn when we evolve. So those are going to be okay with the kit. So if you want to, again, it's the same that for the grass types. We have the very solid one, which is Dirge, uh, Just good overall Pokemon. We have the more RNG one with Cinderace. And then we have the actual RNG one with uh, Charizard. So actually, never mind. It's Charizard just to get Mega Evolution or G Max and a good kit. And then we have the more, you know, more speedy one, attack one. But we have the possibility of G Maxing. So for me, I'm going for Skeledurge. But if you are feeling, and you know, a bit uh, on the RNG type, you can go for either one of those. They are good as well. And now we are going into the water type. So for the water type, I'm gonna go with Quagsly. So Quagsly has Torrent, but if you can find the hidden ability, Moxie, it is an insane starter. But just overall, very, very strong on the base. Squirtle and Quagsly are both very good, to be honest. But I'm gonna go with Quagsly because of the moveset. There you go. So now let's talk about them. As you can see, we have Quaquavol here. So it is a water fighting type and we have a good moveset too. So the speed is actually pretty nice because we have the ability Aqua Step. So Aqua Step is going to give you one stage of speed every time you use it. So it is just overall nice. And it is a physical attack move. Physical attack, yes. Then we have other things. So we have a fighting move, close combat, just overall nice. And we have a flying move too with acrobatics, just have a good coverage overall. So if the, the AI switch into a grass type to try to counter you, you can always acrobatic uh, into the switch. If you try to predict it or something like this, uh, it is always nice to have those moves. So I'm going to go for something like Aqua Step, 
acrobatic, liquid, um, close combat, and then you can go for something else like maybe work up, just to boost yourself at the beginning of the round to sweep. So again, just a very solid Pokemon. All the Gen 9 Pokemons, all the Gen 9 starters are very solid in my opinion. So you can definitely go for all of them if you want to. But what you can do as well is go for one solid starter. It can be any of them. It can be Sprigatito, Fuecoco, or Quaxly. And then you can go for something a bit more on the RNG side. For example, you can go for Mega Blastoise or Mega Swampert or you know, Mega Charizard or something like this. You can have a mix of them. It is not an issue. But, but just let you know, uh, the, the base one, so Fuecoco, is way better than, um, than Charizard or you know, the, the, the Cinderace one. It just if they are Mega Evolving or G-Maxing, they are obviously better but you have to find those items. So now we have Blastoise and Swampert. The reason I don't put Swampert ahead right now is because you need to find the right move for it to work. It is basically like a Venusaur, right? If you have the egg moves and you act can actually find them or in the TMs in the wild, this Pokemon is insane. So you have 150 attack base. Uh, so it is obviously a, an attacker, physical attacker. But if you check the moveset, you actually don't really have any attack moves. You have only special attack ones. You have Water Pulse, Muddy Water, Hydro Pump. Those are all nice, but those are special attack moves. We don't have stuff like, so if we check on the, on the side here, uh, we check Water at the bottom. See, we have Waterfall, Liquidation, um, Flip Turn, all of those moves, but they are not part of the moveset. You need the, the level up moveset, right? You need to find them in the wild. It's the same for the ground type, right? We have one ground move. It is much shot. It's 55. It's, it's actually a good, a good move. Don't get me wrong. But it is a special one. We need something good, right? Like earthquake um, or stuff like this, right? If we check here ground, we have, um, we have earthquake. Uh, we have higher power. We have all of those moves. But we are not actually learning them. We need to find them in the wild or have them in the egg moves. Right? So when you start, it is not a very reliable one. But if you find the egg moves or the TMs, it is, it is, it is actually a pretty good choice. Then we have Blastoise. So Blastoise is uh, pretty nice because you can G-Max and Mega Evolve. It's always the same thing. So Swampert only has one Mega Evolution, but Blastoise has G-Maxing as well. So just overall, just solid. Uh, I would say the Gen 1s are pretty solid as well because we have G-Maxing and Mega Evolution. And then we have some like some like Cinderace, Rillaboom, and Swampert that can be nice if you can mega evolve them. And Swampert, you need a specific move set to make him work. But for Blastoise, you have the moves, you have the mega evolution, you have the G Maxing as well, you have Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon. You know, overall just good moves that you can use in um, whenever you get the mega evolution. So it is up to you. I would say if you want to go for something very solid. You can get all the Gen 9s. They are really, really very, very good. Good movesets, good abilities, good typing, just nice. You can mix them up, of course. So if you don't want to play with Quagsly, you can remove Quagsly and go for Swampert. Uh, if you don't want to play with Fukoko because you don't like him for some reason, you can remove him and go for Cinderace. You know, it is up to you what you want to do. I would say if you want to go for something solid, you can go for all the Gen 9s. They are very nice. I'm just basically here to tell you which ones are better than the other ones, for sure. Uh, but at the end of the day, it is up to you. I don't think the Gen 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 are the best, except for Mudkeep, of course. Um, but you can go for Trico if you want to. You can go for a uh, for Cinquadil, Cyndaquil, sorry. Gen 1s are good because you have G-Max and the Mega Evolution. And the gen, the gen 9 are good because they are just very solid Pokemons overall. So there you go. That's going to be it for the starters. Let me know what you want to see next, what kind of guides you want. Uh, maybe I can make a starter guide overall for all the starters. Obviously, that's going to take me way more time than to come up with this video. But this is the one for the starter tier list or the starters of the starter tier list, I guess. There you go. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.